Hey, this is Asia Small, and welcome back to The Purpose of Prep, your one-stop shop for everything study skills, college admissions, and SAT prep. And I'm here to talk about calculators. So a few months ago, I made this video, and you all loved it. So I'm back to make another one just like it. But this time, I'm gonna be a little bit more specific, and we're gonna talk about one calculator. And the one I'm talking about is the TI-30XIIS. <sighs> that was a mouthful. <laughs> now this calculator is one of the most common used calculators in high schools today for the scientific type. And if you remember from my previous video, I talked about the three calculator types, for function, scientific, and graphing, calculators. And these three calculator types are all different types of calculators that students can use. And if you remember the end of my video, you know the one I enjoy the most is the scientific calculator. And that's the type of calculator we're talking about today. So first, I want to go over the basics of this calculator. So this calculator covers all of the same four basic operations. Division, multiplication, subtraction, and addition. It also covers square roots and exponents, and it can also do trig functions or trig ratios like sine, cosine, tan, and their inverses by clicking the second button here to get the inverse of sine, cosine, and tan as well. So it has all of those basic functions that you can expect in a regular four function calculator. Now as a scientific calculator, it comes with some extra stuff. And I'm gonna point out to you a few things that you can use on this calculator to help you on a test, the SAT itself, and any other math stuff you're doing in your classes today. So let's get to the first thing. So the first cool thing you can do with this calculator is to convert between fractions, decimals, and percents. So this button right here points out how to add that fraction bar in a fraction. So if you had eight over 10, you could press the number eight, this fraction button, and 10. And that comma looking symbol represents the fraction bar. So you now are able to add any type of fraction into your calculator. Now, this F to D function here on this calculator is going to help you convert from fraction to decimal and also from decimal to fraction. And the best thing is when it converts, it converts it in its most simplified form. So you don't have to worry about simplifying it yourself. So for example, if you type in any decimal and then press the F to D button, it's going to convert it right into a simplified fraction. And if you go the other way, if you put any fraction, whether simplified or not, into the calculator, then press the F D button, it's going to turn it into a decimal. Now, if you want to work with percents, you're going to use the percent symbol over, over this button. And in order to get access to it, you're going to need to press second and then that button, and it's going to give you the percent symbol. So you can put any number in front of that percent symbol and then still use the F to D button to convert it to a fraction or convert it into a decimal. So that's one of the cool things this calculator can do is convert from fraction decimal to percent and vice versa so that you can spend less time worrying about those conversions and more about the actual problem you're trying to solve. Now the second thing this calculator can do is simplify fractions. So when you put in your fraction using that cool fraction symbol on your calculator, it will simplify it no matter how large or how complicated the fraction is. So that if you're working with a fraction that's in the hundreds or thousands even, and you don't have time to figure out what numbers divide into the numerator or denominator to simplify it, just use the calculator to do so. This is gonna help you speed up so that you can focus on the actual problem and less on simplifying fractions. The next thing you can do with this calculator is work with other roots. So the most common root we're used to seeing is the square root or the second root. Usually you don't see a number here because we all commonly understand that this is the second root. But there's also other roots. There's the third root, fourth root, fifth root, sixth root, so on so forward. So this button here will allow you to put in any other type of root and calculate what that root is. So if you needed the fifth root or the fourth root or the third root of a number, you could calculate that now without having to worry about doing prime factorization, which is the way to simplify a root by hand. You don't have to do that. You could plug it straight into this calculator, put in whatever root that you're working with, and it will simplify it and give you the answer right away. And the last thing I wanna point out on this calculator for today is fraction operations. So you don't have to worry about 
adding fractions, subtracting, dividing fractions anymore. This calculator will do it for you with the cool fraction symbol. So you can take a fraction, add any operation, whether it's division, multiplication, subtraction, whatever it is, and then put the other fraction and it will give you the answer immediately. So you don't have to spend any time remembering your fraction rules like multiplying straight across for multiplying fractions or multiplying by the reciprocal for dividing fractions. You don't have to worry about it because this calculator is going to do it for you right here using the fraction symbol. And that's some of the amazing things that the TI30X IIS can do for you when you're working through your math problems. Now there are many other features to this calculator, but not enough time in this video. So if you want to hear more about this calculator or any other calculator, make sure to comment down below and let me know what you want to see. And I'm happy to break that down for you and answer any specific questions. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you want more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friends so that the purpose of prep can continue making videos just like this one. And as we always say, work hard, study smart, and I hope to catch you in the next video.